Heyo! We're Artily Obsessed and welcome to our Jelly Plate Printing Tutorial. For those of you who found our video through the QR code in our Jelly Plate Printing Kit Box, you should have all the following materials shown to start on your journey. For those who just stumbled upon this video through the search bar, all you really need is some acrylic paint and jelly plate to begin. If you find our video helpful, please help us out by giving the video a like or subscribing to our channel. To begin with, we're going to put some acrylic paint onto our plate. As we'll be working in layers, I'll be using yellow first as it is a lighter colour. A good measurement would be about two pea-sized drops of paint on an A5 sized jelly plate. Next, we're going to use a roller to spread the paint out evenly onto the plate surface. It's important to make sure that you don't use too much paint. You want the paint to thinly coat the surface of the plate to get the best results. Next, I'll be creating some texture using bubble wrap. You can use any of the materials you can think of to help create different textures. As you can see, the bubble wrap lifts the paint off the plate to create the patterns. Once that's done, I'm going to take my paper and place it over the plate. I usually like to stand when I'm doing this to add some body weight as I'm pressing down on the paper. I like to rub the paper thoroughly to make sure that I'm able to lift as much paint as I can off the plate. Now I'm going to pull the paper off and as you can see the bubble patterns have appeared. For the next layer, I'm going to use darker colours such as red and blue. I'm also going to create a little bit of a gradient on the plate. For this layer, I'm going to be using some string to create a pretty cool pattern on my print. I'm then going to use my finger to draw some wavy lines onto the paint. I really love the trippy texture it creates when I do this and it's really fun just getting down and dirty a little bit with this process. Once I'm done creating patterns on the plate, I'm then going to take my paper with a yellow background and print this new layer over it. The beauty and fun of jelly plate printing is that you'll never be 100% sure of the outcome. The grainy textures also give it a quirky and grungy vibe that I'm absolutely utterly obsessed with. So what I've just shown you, working in layers, is one method of printing with the jelly plate. The next method that I'm going to show you would require you to build the layers onto the plate before pulling off all the layers at once with paper. As you can see on the plate, there's some leftover paint that wasn't pulled off from the most recent print and has now dried onto the surface. So what I'm going to do now is to cover the plate in light colored paints such as white and yellow. Another thing with jelly plates is, if you're working in a dry or hot environment, you'll have to work a little bit faster so that the paint doesn't dry out too quickly before you manage to put your paper over it to pull the print. With this layer, after I press the paper down onto the plate, I'm going to use a hair dryer to help me quicken the drying process. If not, usually it'll take about 15 to 20 minutes for the paint to completely dry. If you want to get a clean print, the paint has to have been completely dried before pulling the paper off the plate. As you can see, this method gives me a really clean pull and it removes almost all the paint that was on the plate. Next up, I'll be showing you guys how to do image transfer prints using the jelly plate. For this, you will need some glossy magazine images or black and white images printed using a laser printer. For laser prints, I find that adjusting the DPI to 600 and turning up the contrast of your image before printing it really helps with a cleaner imprint of your image onto the plate. I usually like having a dark first layer such as black or dark blue to help with the image transfer. I've put a little bit of water together with my paint as where I'm working is pretty hot and the paint seems to be drying really quickly. For image transfers to work well, the amount of paint on the plate surface has to be just right. 
If you use too much paint, like what I just did here, you'll find that the image transfer wouldn't be as clean. Once you've coated the plate, immediately put your image onto it, give it a good rub all over and lift it before the paint dries and before the paper sticks to the plate. As you can see, the patterns of the model's clothes came out pretty nicely, but her face is a little bit unclear. But it's okay, it's normal to run into some of these problems when you're printing, but that's just part of the whole process. So again, I'm going to use the hair dryer to help quicken the drying process. Once the first layer has dried, I'm going to paint on different colours using a paintbrush. These colours will eventually show through the front once the layers are transferred onto the paper. And then I'm going to use the hair dryer again to help with the drying. Then going to put some white paint on to coat the entire plate surface before putting my paper over and pressing down onto the plate. Just like before, for this to be a clean print, you need to make sure that the plate has completely dried, which is why I like using a hair dryer. For this method, you usually have to pull the print a little slower just so you don't rip the paper. The result is this really cool grungy looking print with lots of textures. I'm going to be repeating this technique again, so if you like to, you can keep watching or skip to the end to see how I like to clean and maintain my jelly plate. I like to spray on some medical grade isopropyl first and rub with some kitchen towels. It's made of 99% alcohol and really helps to take the paint off the plate really easily. I then spray on some water to wipe off the alcohol. If you don't do that, I find that the plate tends to get really sticky afterwards. You can also just wash the jelly plate with water, just that it might take a little more effort removing all the residue paint. Also, something to take note, the plate will tend to yellow that's completely normal. I hope this tutorial has been helpful. It is now time for you to go forth, have fun and start printing with your jelly plate. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please give us a like or subscribe. See you again real soon and stay ardently obsessed.